Hey y'all, Boogie Knight here. How's it going? And welcome to Sonic Boogie Plays the Librarian. This is a, as it says, short uh, 2D uh, pixelated indie puzzle game that is uh, currently free on Game Show. If you like what you see, I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, we're going right to um, the cutscene. Can I move the mouse? No, I can't. Give me a second, we'll go into the details. <laughs> There's an intro for you. Um, anyway, as I said, this is a free um, 2D uh, side-scrolling indie puzzle game. If you like what you see, if I put a link in the description below to its uh, website on to its page on Game Jolt. Excuse me, it's been a been a full day. Um, it's actually designed or developed by the same person that did Midnight Screenings that I actually played a few months back. Not for the channel, but for myself, and it was a really good game. Um, which was also free. Um, the thing you might notice with these graphics is that the developer also did the artwork for um, for Thimbleweed Park. So if you played Thimbleweed Park or you've seen Lilia's um, Let's Play of Thimbleweed Park or any uh, content creator's uh, version of Thimbleweed Park, you'll kind of notice the pickups on that. Um, so the game description says you play Liz, the titular character here, um, who is the you know, a librarian, and something about being wrong in the temple, whatever that means. So, um, can I... I can't use wands. Can I use left to right? No, I can't. Uh, we're already at an impasse. Great. Um, oh, I used the mouse for everything. Okay. Brilliant. Actually, hang on. The volume's a touch loud in my ears. So I'm gonna, or a touch soft in my ears. So I'm going to crank that up just a hair. There we go. Actually, no. It was a little loud in my ears. I'm going to crank that down just a little bit. Okay, pokey. So let's see what we got here. Uh, there's a clock. We got a lot of weird things in here. We got a dream catcher, I guess. We got a candle. Okay, we can light that. And we got a nice snowy owl. Or an agent. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Kind of looks like some of the close-ups in uh, the in the later King's Quest series. That is five and six. We have a note. <laughs> Something is wrong in the library. I guess there's some horror aspects to this as well. Okay. Can I touch you? Oh, I can touch you again. Brilliant. Mm. I just pick up the library key. Um, before we get proceed, um, I actually was going to play this a few weeks ago, but as some of y'all know, some things went down, and I had to take a three-week breather to kind of get reset and restart. Um, but unfortunately for y'all, I'm back again, so I'm going to play... Oh, that's the substitute. I'm back again, so I'm going to play this indie game. We have a wine decanter. Before moving on to my next s series. Oh, we can open the wardrobe. Nice. Whoa, that is badass library uniform, complete with a spirit dagger. Gotta take the knife first and get dressed. I kind of like when you're standing still, you can see your breathing. That's just a nice added touch. Uh, there's something shadowy there. Can we just give you the wide berth? Oh, yeah. Screw something being in the library, something's wrong in the town. And you just want to drink from the puddle, that is kind of cute. Can I pet you? Didn't think so. Um, like Midnight Scenes, there's, you know, there's no death in that game, so I don't know if there is in this, if this is any different. Um, I don't think this is right, but let's take the violent way, kind of knife you. I already, I, I definitely know what to do since he's drinking from the puddle. Let's just add a little bit of wine and see if we can increase his buzz. <laughs> and he got pissed and passed out. Okay, now we can pet him as much as you want. Nice uh, shadow thing. Okay. Are those skulls growing out of a tree? It's like the wood of suicides from Dante's Inferno. Yeah, I can definitely tell the Monkey Island and Thimbleweed Park pixelated uh, graphics. That's not a bad thing. The torches are nice. And I did not want to see the skeletons. Can we go through the gate? Can we go in the house? No, we can't. 
here we go. Here's the library. Let's, let's just see if you can walk in, even though I didn't think we need the key. Wait, did she just shrug? Okay, that is kind of cute, I have to admit. Alright, in you go. Oh my god. Okay, so can we keep walking? Yes, we can. What's this? We got a broken window. Anything in the bushes? Guess we have to get in the broken window. Just like Winnie the Pooh. Okay. So, let's take a look and take the candle. No, we can't. Can go further? No, I can't. Okay, so let's go see if there's anything we missed. Let's just go look over every bookshelf with a fine tooth eye. Nothing here. Nothing here, as far as I can tell. It's that fat book. Speaking of books, I want to hang out with this woman all the time. I mean, look at all these books. I want to know what's in them. I could spend all day reading her just as a massive bibliophile. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I see where we're going with this. I think we're banging on all cylinders now, Sarge. Okay, so something happened. Okay, the constant clicking gets a bit redundant. We have a strange, strange machine. I was just about to say that. Okay, so we've got a bunch of cogs. It looks like a needle for a record player. More cogs. And a broken handle. Okay. Um, with a broken key work, two brokens make a fixed. It's like two wrongs make a right. Didn't think so. I don't think this will work either, but can we knife it? Okay, let's get on the scum engine. Um, uh, the logic train, and by scum, I mean the Monkey Island series. Let's just begin to figure what's going to work here. Um, nothing here. Actually, hang on. Like a lot of puzzle games that I played, things are there for a reason. So can we take a tr can we take anything? No, take a broken branch, or not? Can, can we climb out the window? I like how she wiggles her fingers when she's trying to grab something, followed by a shrug, like you know what? Screw you for making me do this. Aha! We have a tree branch, and now we have a purpose. Okay, so we use the branch and the handle. Uh, Liz, you might want to get that thing fixed. It sounds like my car on a bad day. Gotta go upstairs. Sweet. Okay. So we got a statue. Two statues. I highly doubt this is gonna work, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and push the buttons. There's one game I played once where the code literally was all three, four, maybe five? Four, okay. <laughs> Guess that was wrong. Can we just li what is that? A former librarian. Did you smite her to take her position, Liz, or did she work for you? Okay, we got an amulet, a, a red lens, okay. It's like a monocle. Huh. So you kill people, and you destroy to and uh, you break what? There's, speaking of dead bodies, there's another one. What's this? Wait a second. Hang on a second. Let's see if there's, if that, I think I know what that relates to. Let me go check the rest of this floor. Got a round socket, so let's go ahead and put the red lens in the socket. Or not at all. Um, okay. Let's uh, keep on trucking. Okay, so I think I know what this is. I, that's the statues downstairs, so hang on. I've got a pad and a pen in here, so let me grab those and write those down. Okay, so um, on, nothing on the thumb. Got a V. We have a looks like a lambda symbol, go half-life. 
Uh, we have a screaming face. And we have a delta symbol. Very nice. Just, Liz, you, you can smite your flock all you want, but don't leave their bodies scattered about. Eventually they're gonna stink. Okay, so we've got V for start. We got Victor for starters. Why not? We'll do. Let's see. Uh, Lambda. Sideways screaming face. And Delta. Okay then. What's next? Yeah. You broke your own statue, Liz. What the hell? What the hell? What is that? A corroded soul. Well, I think, obviously, we need to knife this person. Damn, girl, that was like some straight-up Prince of Persia action. Okay, so an Iron Sphere. I was gonna say a crystal ball, but hey, you know, whatever flips your switch. So how was, how was everybody's weekend? Hopefully good, hopefully relaxing, hopefully productive, and overall, hopefully you had fun. Like I said, I'm repeating myself, sorry, it's been a long day. It's been a warm day. Okay, so the red lens doesn't work, red lens doesn't work, we need to put the iron sphere in. The round socket. That should, I was gonna say it opens up the door to level four, but apparently wants us to read a book called Our Darkest Times. Lamps are plenty tonight, y'all. Okay. What? What am I in the other world from Silent Hill? Okay, so I kind of want to go downstairs and see what else has changed, but I'm sure there's an opportunity to backtrack, and I think the plot wants us to go upstairs, so let's go upstairs and take a look, Ski. What? What? Hang on, for. Okay, I thought that was a gallows for a second. What is this? Um, yeah, question mark. I'm right there with you, Liz. Okay, so we need to start looking for... We need to start looking for, uh, color codes. And why is my red lens flashing all of a sudden? That's odd. Is something around here? Is that on Liz? Hang on, I'm gonna put that back. Let's keep going and see what's... I know, it started flashing. It's, something's causing it to flash upstairs. It's causing a reaction. I want us to know what that is. And it's flashing again. Okay, hang on. Um, over this. Over the machine. Guess not. Um, over, over the candle. Okay. Got a lasso. Okay. So I'm gonna write that down. So I'm guessing that's the code for the machine. So let's go ahead and okay, let's go ahead and leave that on the bottom. So okay, so we're on the second floor. So I guess we just need to look, watch the inventory to see when the key when the Lens flashes, and in turn, that will light some symbol up for the machine. It's an anchor. No, wait, hang on. I'm doing this wrong. Um, I think I'm doing it in reverse, because... You know what? I'm going to write it down in both orders, so I can test both orders. It's both, you know, one way or the other, from bottom to top and top to bottom. So let's go ahead and go down to the second floor. The mortals are binding of Isaac. Head on down to the next floor. So let's watch the red lens. Wait, there's a candle over here. Hang on a tick. I don't want to go upstairs. There it is, and the lens is flashing. Brilliant. Master Wayne, just just look for the candle. I mean, 
Mr. Sliz just took for the continent. Yeah, check it out, a poorly Mike, a poor Michael Caine impression. God, I haven't wanted to done one of those in a long time. Michael Caine is usually saved for streams, but since um, Florida internet is horribly sloppy and prone to um, lots of crashes, as most people can tell. And this is our final one. I have yet to be able to finish um, Alan Wake and move on to Cuphead, but hopefully that will be the case soon. I just realized I forgot to write down the second floor uh, symbol. Derp, you twit. Let's go back upstairs. As you can tell, my, my act is still not 100% put together, but eh, what can you do? Okay, so that's a chalice. Gotcha, okay. So... We're gonna try this first, because this is the first one we saw. And then, if that doesn't work, we'll do the age-old logic train thing and flip-flop it. So I'm thinking that might be it. I'm not sure. Okay, so the lasso stays on the bottom. Move on to the anchor. Move on to the chalice. And move on to the sine wave. Did anything happen? Not at all. Okay. So I was right in my conviction that, we did, that this was the flip-flop. So then we're going to do lasso... Anchor, chalice, sine wave. Nicely done. Okay. Even when she climbs the ladder, she does the wiggly thing. That's kind of cute. What in the world is this? Yeah, this constant clicking thing to proceed is a little bit on the annoying side. Okay, like Theseus, let's go left. We've got a glass. She shrugs the glass door. Can we broke and key it? Lens it? I like how she keeps the broken key on her at all times as if she's either going to get it fixed or it's like a permanent MacGuffin. Dude, what? Did you see that? We have a giant crow. Hi, Mr. Crow. Can I grab this library key and be on my merry way? Yeah! <laughs> Is this what's wrong with the library? Is this the thing that sent me into- do it? Did I have to go to Dark World to stop this thing? There's nothing left to do- I thought I heard shattering glass. Let's go to the corridor and- Aww. It's just a trap- It's a trap for maybe bird. That's why gigantic ass mom bird is, uh, freaking out. Let's give you back your offspring. You can fly off and... There you go. For that gigantic... Okay. So what's next? Get out of the blizzard, I can my surmise. How do we escape from Dark World? That's the real question. I'm bum-fuzzled by that. And apparently we're back in Light World. Interesting. And the key actually works. Okay. I'm not clicking. This is a cutscene. <laughs> Sleep well, so you'd be hung over Shadow Thing. And I guess, is, is there anything else we can do? I guess go to bed. Honestly, overall, I liked this game. I thought some of the puzzles were a little bit easy. I was expecting a little bit more... Maybe I played more puzzle games like The Mist and Zorg and uh, Monkey Island and other puzzle sagas, but... The puzzles were easy, but... And it, to me, it felt on the rushed side, but overall, 
I found it decent, and hey, it's a free indie game, and it was definitely similar to Midnight Scene, so I definitely respect that, and so I think Octavi um, Navarro did a decent job with this. Um, would I recommend it to others? Yeah, why not? If this sort of thing is your bag, I'd definitely go for it. Um, but of course, my opinion doesn't matter. Yours does. So let me know your thoughts in the description or in the comment section below. I'd love to know what they are. But uh, with that being said, y'all have a fantastic evening. And I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.